to take a look at the Hilton Volume Pedal Pro Guitar Edition. Now what's new and different about this pedal is that it has five very new guitar friendly features. First, it can now be powered by a 9 volt negative tip connection. That means that it can be powered with a standard power supply. Next, it has its input on the right and its output on the left. This makes it very easy to daisy chain with other pedals and easy to install into a guitar pedal board. Along with that, it now has a standard tuner output. Another feature is the new adjustable clutch system. Now this allows you to adjust the stiffness of the pedal up and down to where you can have it very loose or obviously very stiff. Lastly, you have this knob here that allows you to set your off point to exactly where you want it. Now if you're interested in this pedal, make sure to check my description for a fantastic place to purchase it or contact me directly and I'll help you out. Now let's take a look at the new features in this pedal in more detail. <laughs> First, let's take a look at what makes the Hilton volume pedal so unique. Since it's not a pot pedal, as you back off the volume, you'll notice that your tone remains very transparent, no loss of highs or tone suck. You can also see that it is powered via a standard 9 volt negative tip connection. This is new for the guitar edition. It makes it very easy to power and to put it into a pedal board or, you know, use something like a Voodoo Power Plus 2. So let's take a look at the volume swell and hear how the tone is not lost while backing off the volume. Next, let's take a look at the adjustable clutch system. This is the system that allows you to adjust the stiffness of your pedal up and down. If you go to the bottom of the pedal using an Allen wrench, which is supplied to you by Hilton Electronics, you insert it into this point here marked with the red tape, and if you turn your Allen wrench clockwise, you stiffen the pedal. In this case, I have it very, very stiff. Using that same adjustment, if I turn it counterclockwise, then it will loosen the pedal, like so, and make it very loose. So with this new adjustment, you can make your Hilton pedal as stiff as you desire. Next, I wanted to show you the off-point adjustable knob feature. And this allows you to be able to set the pedal to when it turns completely 100% zero volume. Now right now, I don't have it set correctly, purposely, so I can show you how you set it correctly. You can hear a little bit of volume with the pedal all the way back. So let me adjust the, the knob and find the sweet spot where it's zero volume with the pedal all the way back.
The last thing I want to demonstrate is the two different ways you can have your volume pedal in your chain. You can have it at the beginning or you can have it at the end. If you have it at the beginning like I do here, when you back off the volume, that will cut your signal, taking the fuzz or distortion and cleaning it up. Once you push it back down, adding more signal, it will then distort or add more fuzz. So let's demonstrate how that sounds. Here we go. And now you see I have now reversed the chain with the fuzz face at the beginning and the volume at the end. Now the volume is a straight volume where you'll hear distortion the entire time. That was the Hilton Volume Pedal Pro Guitar Edition. Make sure you check my description and how to pick up one of these fantastic pedals. And if you like this demo, make sure you subscribe to me on YouTube and follow me on Twitter at Selenium. You can also like us on Facebook, The Flow Guitar Enthusiasts. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you next time.